Uh, you know, you never know what you're getting uh, in recruiting period. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I talk to players individually, I'll tell them that a lot of times, you know, there's a, there's a leap of faith or a projection when you look at players on film. You think you know what you're seeing, but until you see players uh, live, you know, you really, it's, it's not quite the same. And I'll, I always flash back to back when I was at Rick Fields being out there standing behind Abdul Hodge mm -hmm. for the first time uh, when he was on the field. We were doing a nine on seven drill, and I just was. He was a lot quicker in that drill than I envisioned him being uh, based on his high school tape. So my point there is his, his football speed, his instincts, his you know, ability to process information and get where he had to get was, was pleasantly like, you know, we thought he was good and it was even better and, and that kind of panned out. Uh, so you learn things about players first time you're with them live and then the other thing is you learn about them as people too. And, so there's always a leap of faith there, and uh, but the good news is I think you know we've been through uh, quite a road right here with Davion. But uh, I can tell you this, my my interfaces with him I think is true of all of us. It's just been, it's been nothing but positive, and um, I was just super impressed with him last year because he's on the scout team, um, you know, redshirting, and the guy just likes football. He likes football. He likes his teammates. He likes being out there. He's just got a really uh, good enthusiasm to him, a good vibe. So that, you know, that's not always the case when guys are on the scout team. That's not the most uh, enjoyable place to be for a lot of guys, but it's a really important thing for them. And uh, the way he was on the field was just really, it was great. So really excited to get him back with us now and uh, get him out there starting tomorrow.